Taurus, welcome to May. So, I'm thinking that there could be some competition between people either fighting over you or maybe somebody that you're dealing with may have a lot of options or that could be you. I got that really strongly when I was... Hello. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. So maybe you're doing all right right now. Everything's good in the home. Maybe you're, fir you're focused on your house and all your stuff. Like maybe you're just focused on getting all that together. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Maybe you're planning on you and this person that you're with. Maybe you want to move in together. Or maybe... I don't know. Yeah, maybe you want to move in together. Something about moving. I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, that could be making you feel some type of way. Maybe you don't want to move. Or maybe the person, Pisces Cancer Energy here, is feeling this about you. And that could make sense because I did get a lot of conflict energy when I was shuffling. So you do have the two of cups here. So you are dealing with a soulmate. So maybe that could be why you guys want to move in together. Or maybe you do live together, but I'll clarify the nine of swords in a second. But let me pull some other cards. Yeah. Anyways, can I get more for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for May. Can I get more for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, definitely some competition. You got the three, or, um, the three of cups here. There could be a Gemini somewhere or an Aquarius. You could be getting a truth about a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, yeah, okay. This High Priestess card also could be telling you to use your intuition because here with the Lover's card and the Three of Cups, there's definitely options and love for you. One could be a fire sign. Universe, can I get more for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Can I get more for Taurus? Okay, so I think you're holding on to something. You could be holding on to one of these people, or one of these people are holding on to somebody else. But there is this Three of Cups here doesn't always have to be a third party. You could be reconciling with an old soulmate because you do have somebody here is your soulmate and you guys you have a very strong connection. But maybe they're a little bit in their head about the fact that maybe you have a lot of people around you, but it is your birthday, so of course you're partying, of course you're having fun. So that could just be what that means, but somebody is the Nine of Swords here is like the only bad card here, and I'm not really sure why that's here. You're thinking about something. They're thinking about something. Okay. Universe, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you told them you want to move out, and that can make them think that you're dealing with somebody else. Universe, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Taurus? The tower, yeah. So maybe something, maybe you want to move out of the home. Or maybe you're forced to move out of the home. Maybe they kicked you out. Maybe you kicked them out. Holy shit. Okay. Oh well. Clarify the tower. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Clarify the tower card. Oh wow. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. You. Something, something shocking happened in the home. So. Yeah, I'm thinking somebody moved out or somebody got kicked out. Anyway, yeah, if you're dealing with a Pisces, maybe you kicked them out or they kicked you out or you both got kicked out of somewhere. Hmm. Clarify the High Priestess. Universe, why is the High Priestess here? Clarify the High Priestess. Okay, so, okay, hello. So there could have been a cancer involved here. You could be dealing with a cancer, but you got the three of cups and the death card. So there could be a third party situation with the Scorpio or you put a, um, an end to a third party situation. And but you still got the three of cups here. You could just, okay. 
Yeah, somebody got... Maybe somebody found out. Maybe you found out about their party situation and you kicked them out of your house. Quickly. <laughs> With the chariot card. Okay. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Universe, why is the Nine of Swords? I do feel like if that is the case, that was a wise decision. Just because I'm noticing in the Nine of Swords here, there's an owl in the window. And owls are like really wise. They represent wisdom, so... Maybe you could be feeling bad that you did this, but it was a good decision. Universe, why is the Nine of Swords here? The Taurus. That's too many. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Taurus? Six of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe, maybe you're thinking about, okay, so this could be like, Maybe you got gifts, or maybe somebody stopped giving you gifts. But it is your birthday season, so you are getting gifts. Why are you feeling bad about that? Or why does somebody feel bad about that? Hmm. Maybe you feel like you should have been like... Okay, so you could be getting gifts from a Gemini, the magician here. And some... It is, I keep getting that this is not you. Somebody else feels like this. This could be the person that you're with. Maybe they're like not okay with people giving you gifts for some reason. Could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Clarify the magician. Universe, why is the magician here for Taurus? Why is the magician with the Six of Pentacles? Hmm. Empress card. Okay, so yeah, this is your energy right here. Hmm. Okay, clarify the two of cups. Maybe you're trying to manifest, and of course you're trying to manifest more money, but maybe you're trying to manifest something here. You could be trying to manifest your soulmate, but I think you guys are already together. Universe, clarify the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here for Taurus? Yeah, I think there was an end to a third party situation. Or an end to a situation. Okay. So you have the sun card here with the nine of pentacles. So yeah, you guys could have broke up. Maybe you broke yeah. You guys got have broke up. Somebody got kicked out the house. But the sun card is here. So you could be dealing with the Leo, but I think in the end it's it's gonna make you happy. Like I said here, this was a wise decision. Okay. Clarify the Ace of Wands. So yeah, like right after all this happens, all this tower and death energy happens, you have the Ace of Wands. So there is a new beginning. Yeah, I think people, because there's just like, I just noticed there's a big difference in my eyes to these two Three of Cups. This one looks happy. Everyone's dancing around having fun like a birthday party. And this one looks like bitches gossiping. So maybe there was an end to gossip, or maybe there's been a lot of gossip about your relationship. And maybe the end is about the gossip, and it makes you happy that pe like maybe people stop talking. But it, whoever you're with, it's making them feel depressed. Okay, yeah. Anyway. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Taurus? Universe, why is the Ace of Wands here for Taurus? Six of Cups, okay, so maybe you're reconciling with friends. Three of Cups here, I can see that. It could be old friends that you're that are coming up now, which makes sense. Um, this could be an ex. Maybe once. Okay, maybe an ex wants to fuck. I have to say it how I feel it. The Ace of Wands here. Yep, that could be why. Okay, it could be a Gemini. <laughs> huh. All right, clear by the Six of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Why is the Six of Cups here with the Ace of Wands? Why is the Six of Cups here with the Ace of Wands? Why 
Page of Swords, okay, so. Yeah, I think an ex communicated to you that they um, want to sleep with you. Hmm. And the Lovers card here is a very sexual card, so it could, um, yeah, but you're holding on to something. Let's just get more. Clarify the Page of Swords with the Six of Cups. What was this information? I'm really thinking they are like telling you maybe you look good or something like that. Hmm, okay, so here, yeah, that is causing, you got the Nine of Swords twice here, so maybe they're saying like, Maybe a friend tells you this. Maybe this might not be an ex. Maybe you're finding out that a friend is very passionate for you. And this kind of puts you in... You guys are both... You and the person you're with are both in the Nine of Swords. But, like, same with the Three of Cups cards. I see these cards so differently. So this person, your Nine of Swords. You're just, like, laying there thinking, like, oh my gosh, like, I can't believe I just heard that like can't believe they just said that and this person is like holding their heart like they're hurt this person is sitting in bed contemplating like shocked i feel like and that could be the tower that could be some very shocking information i'm getting home wrecker so be careful because of what we were talking about earlier okay um hmm. let's clarify some more parts all right. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here for Taurus? Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, maybe... I just feel like this is you having a good time. And I'm thinking one of these old friends or like maybe you're still friends with one of your exes and that's making your current partner feel um, depressed. Because... Maybe, yeah, especially if it is a Pisces, they can feel the energy between you guys. Maybe there is still passion there with you and your ex, and that's what's putting the person you're currently with in kind of a depressive state because they feel that. Okay. But yeah, Ace of Pentacles. I just see you having fun. You could be receiving money, or somebody wants a new beginning with you. Clarify the lover's card. For Taurus, universe, clarify the lover's card for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Clarify the lover's card for Taurus. Clarify the lover's card. Universe, clarify the lover's card. You have justice, could be a Libra. Or maybe you need mental, oh, wow, okay. So yeah, maybe you need clarity on this because you could be dealing with two soulmates here. And you're holding on to, I feel like both of them, even like energetically, I'm not saying like you're cheating, but I feel like you're holding on to both of them because you got the two of cups again. So yeah, maybe you need to like, yeah, something needs to be balanced. You need to know, like, you, yeah, you definitely need mental clarity on this situation. And maybe you're holding on to your feelings here. I don't think you're expressing them to either of these people because this person, he, the one you're with, loves you very much and you make them happy. This person here, I feel like you have a lot of fun with and is very passionate and you can be your childlike self around them so i guess fill you in a predicament here like you're just like lord okay clarify the four of pentacles for taurus clarify the four of pentacles for taurus three of wands so you could possibly not know which way to go or like you just want to I feel like you don't know what to do. Like, what's the first step to take in this situation? Because once you're in this situation, you're really not going to know what to do. You're not going to know what to say. Because I feel like you're not going to know how you feel. So, let's clarify three of wands. Because I feel like with the six of cups, this person's bringing up old feelings. And it really is bringing up old feelings. Like, you're feeling it. So, you're like, oh, okay. So, maybe I should, like, lay down 
Oh, shit. Lay down and think about this for a second. Do I want this new beginning with this soulmate or do I stay with this soulmate? You got, wow, Taurus, shit. You must be shining in your birthday season because people are coming forward. Exes and shit. So, yeah. You're going to get the truth here. You're going to get the mental clarity you seek with the Ace of Swords. So yeah, the first step here, you have you need to make a step here. You just gotta though. I think it might be to communicate. And with the ace of swords, you gotta communicate honestly about what maybe to both of these people. Okay, clarify the ace of swords. Why is the ace of swords here for Taurus? Let's clarify the ace of swords for Taurus. Yeah, you're going to get communication about the truth or you need to communicate the truth. For sure. All right, so let me get some advice for you. Universe, what's the advice for Taurus regarding this spread? What's the advice? Seven of water, okay, so this is you staying in confusion, but also with the seven of water is it is choices but one must be chosen so you need to be very honest with yourself here and choose one either because it's gonna go badly if you don't you got the tower and death so hmm. i get more advice for taurus what's the advice for taurus regarding this spread What's the advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Okay. Five of fire. So, yeah, if you don't make a choice, it's going to cause conflict. <laughs> because if you're dealing with a water sign, they're going to feel it. Like, you don't even have to say shit to them. They already know. Hmm. Okay. Universe, and I get one more card of advice for Taurus. Okay. So six of air, yeah, definitely calmly. They have the seven of fire, so I'm feeling like stand your ground on. Make a decision and stick with it. Is what I'm getting, and it's going to. It's going to bring harmony to the situation because the tower is going to happen, but whatever decision you make, stand your ground. Don't go back and forth because it's going to cause a lot of problems. Yeah, definitely. With the five of fire, it's going to cause a lot of problems. So, yeah. Hmm. I feel like everything is happening the way it's supposed to. Just for the fact that I've noticed these cars go five, six, seven. I don't know. But, yeah, choose somebody. Follow your heart. This is not a head decision, especially with all these cups. Two of cups, follow your heart here. So, yeah, anyway. Um, I hope this was a good reading for you. Kind of confusing, but I hope it was a good reading for you for the month of May. And enjoy your birthday. And, yeah, if you would like a personal reading, all the information is down below in the description box on how you can get one. So thanks so much for watching.